In this video, I want to share with you shortcuts that I use whenever I'm editing inside Camtasia. Now, there are lots of shortcuts that I use. I'll share with you some of my top ones in this video. And if you want them summarized on one page, I've created that for you at cammastery.com slash shortcuts. You can also find a link in the description below. Let's start with some that you're probably already familiar with. I use the spacebar to play and then to pause my video. So just play and pause. The next keyboard shortcut is delete. And that's just click something you don't want and press the delete key. Something over here you don't want, delete it. The next group of shortcuts that I like are the Control X, C, and V. And that is for cut, copy, and paste. So for example, if I had these three and I want to reproduce those, I'll do a Control C to copy, come out here, Control V to paste. And there they are at the bottom. If I didn't want them here and I wanted them somewhere else, I can select the items that I don't want, Control X to cut them, and then find another place in my video where I want them to appear, maybe here, Control V to paste, and now I've just cut them from one location and pasted them in another. Of course, I don't need that, so I'll use Control Z to undo that. If I did undo too many times, I can do Control Y to bring it back. To add an animation, move your playhead to where you want that animation to end, select the clip or the clips that you want to add the animation, and use Shift A to add that animation to any of the selected clips at the playhead. Again, I'll Control Z to get rid of those animations. Now what I want to do is look here. These four items are actually these four lines that I have on the screen. And I don't need all four of these to take up four tracks. So what I'll do is select all four and Control G to group them. And now I have all four of these as a group and I can move them. Or if I need to lengthen these, I can lengthen the entire group. That's all four. Of course, if I need them back, I can just select that group again and Control U to ungroup each of those. The next thing I want to do is create a split. To do a split on the PC, it's S, and to do it on the Mac, it's Command T by default. Of course, we can change those if we need to, if we open our preferences using either Control comma or Command comma, and then going to the Shortcuts tab. But instead, I just want to show you how to do a split. The first thing you have to do is move your playhead to where you want that split to happen, select the clip or the clips that you want to split, and press S or Command T. When you do, you can see it deselects that clip. Now again, I'll use Control Z to undo. And I want to show you I can select multiple clips. So here are three clips that are selected. When I press S, it split those three clips, but it did not split the other clips that are there. And I'll do a Control Z to get those back. Now, if I wanted to split all the clips, regardless of what's selected, I can do a Control Shift S, and that splits every clip on the screen. And I didn't have any of them selected. If I like what's on the screen and I want to export this as a single frame, meaning I want all the elements that I have here on the screen to be one image, I use Control F to export a frame. And that creates a PNG, JPEG, GIF, or bitmap. I stick with PNG because that's one of the best compressions with the best quality. If I'm somewhere in the middle of my project and I wanna to go to the beginning, I can do Control Home to get to the beginning or Control End to get to the end. If I'm on a Mac, it'll be Command Enter to go to the beginning and Command Shift Enter to go to the end. If I'm working in an area and I can't quite get exactly where I need that playhead to be, I'll use the comma and period keys to go one frame to the left or one frame to the right with my playhead. So if you're looking to find that exact frame you need, use that period key or comma key to move one frame to the right or to the left. If I want this deleted and this and this and this, I can select all of those and then delete them all at once. So with one of them selected, Hold down the control key and click on the other elements that you want to change. Now that I have those selected, I can let go of control and I can press the delete key to delete all of them. Another way I use this is if I have several animations and I want to change all of them at once, I can select each of those animations. So I can select the first, hold down control, select the second, third, fourth, and fifth. And then whatever I do to one animation, if I move it, it moves all the animations. Or if I change its duration, it changes the duration for all of them. Next, I wanna show you a trick on the timeline with shift and drag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna select this clip and I'm gonna drag it to the right. And notice that as I do that, it moves everything after it. Now I'll bring it back to its beginning. Let's try that again. I'll deselect everything. So I'll just click outside or you can use control D to deselect. I'll click on this clip, hold down shift and just drag it. And I can see everything moves after it. Sometimes I only want to see one track. For example, if I didn't want to see these lines that I created in the background, I only want to see this text track, I can go over here. And if I hold down the Alt or the Option key and click that eye icon, it solos out that one track. Basically hides or disables every other track and only shows you the current track. To get it back, hold down the Alt key again 
click that I and it comes back. If you wanted a couple of tracks, you could do that. So for example, I could hold down the Alt key, select this track and select this track. And now just those two tracks are shown and all other tracks are disabled. To get them back again, Alt and click those two and they come back. Of course, I didn't have time to get to all the keyboard shortcuts that would just take forever, but you can find a list to all the keyboard shortcuts on that shortcuts page at cammastery.com slash shortcuts. Now let me know what are your favorite shortcuts? Are there ones that you use that I don't? Leave a comment below and let me know what keyboard shortcuts I should be using and what others should be using as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.